Welcome to my museum classroom kit. My name is Lisbeth Asensio, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. In this segment, we will be looking at From Where We Spring by Sean Goshorn. As we look together, it will be helpful for you to have paper and something to write with as you respond to prompts in the video. Please pause the video and get those things now if you need to. Before we get started discussing this work of art, let us take a few moments to look closely at this piece. Start by letting your eyes wander around the image. Look carefully from top to bottom and side to side, paying close attention to all the details you see. You can pause the video now to give yourself a few moments to look and write about what you see. Have you ever seen a basket like this before? I'm sure you notice the image and the words in the basket. How about in the basket? What did you notice? Yes, there are also words inside, not just color. Shan Goshorn, an Eastern Band Cherokee artist who live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, was a human rights activist. And she used a unique medium to talk about difficult issues that Native Americans have faced in the past and continue to face today. Goshorn built her baskets out of watercolor paper on which she printed the text of treaties between the Cherokee people and the U.S. government, maps that delineate what were once Cherokee lands, lists of sports teams, and products that use Indian names, even contemporary photographs. The creation of this single weave basket that we're looking at was inspired in the following quote. It is the mothers, not the warriors, who create a people and guide their destiny. Lutheran Standing Bear, Oglala, Lakota. This image features a native woman wearing a buckskin dress merged with a landscape of the open plains. The mountain water Cherokee pattern was chosen for this piece to emphasize our connection to our first mother and all her gifts. Luther Standing Bear's quote is woven into this pattern around the photo. The inside of the basket combines two documents, the words written by a young native mother who celebrates motherhood. The second document are the names of strong women, warriors, and caregivers whose words and actions have benefited native people throughout time. And lastly, the loose splints springing upward from the basket illustrate the emergence of a burden, new strength and wisdom made possible by the foundation this woman have laid for us. During an interview, Goshorn said that her baskets are the perfect venue for interaction and education. They engage the audience in a new kind of way so that they want to know the whole story each piece contains. How about you? What story would you tell with your art? Go ahead and pause the video and write down your answer. Now that you had a chance to think about your art and the story you would like to tell, feel free to go to the art making video that is related to From Where We Spring. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this piece as much as we did. Now, let's have a chance to talk with our guest artist, Gregory Janik. Gregory, if you could create a single wave basket like Goshorn, what story would you tell and what text and images would you use? The story I would tell would be about children and art, frankly. It would be about kids around the world. We work on a project whereby we provide art packs for children who can't afford their own. And I've seen some pictures that just tear your heart apart. We've provided to Syrian refugees in Greece and to refugees who are in El Paso and on and on and on. And the one thing I delight in and what I would try to interweave in this basket are images of the children with their crayons, with their paper. I would try to interweave any sort of word in English, I teach Latin, so I'd probably throw a little Latin in there. And words that 
talk about paint, color, light, life, positivity, affirmation, and even the child who has it so hard can express herself or himself with a just, <laughs> I'm getting choked up now, I'm sorry, just applying a crayon to a piece of paper and saying, hey, this is me, this is mine, hear me and see me. Wow. What, what an amazing project that you are working on. And, and I can see that you are already making a difference with this um, amazing project. And this leads me to the next question. Um, how can you use your own art to make a difference in this world? I discovered that at an early age, I could communicate with children I didn't know, classmates I wanted to know but didn't know, family members, strangers, by drawing cartoons. Not cartoons that would really mock people, but cartoons that just showed what was going on inside my little head then. Fantasy, superheroes, you name it, I would start to draw it, and my drawings were terrible. But I just kept doing them and kept doing them and kept doing them. Finally, when I was a senior in high school, a political cartoonist for the Chicago Daily News called John Fischetti had just won a Pulitzer Prize for his cartoons and somebody sent my work to him. And he sent me this letter that I still have to this date that just touched my heart. And he was honest. He said, these are not perfect, but you are, and he used the word indefatigable. You don't get tired. And I thought, what does that mean? I hope it's good. I didn't give up. I couldn't give up. And he said, go to art school. So I did. I went to my first art lesson and we had a show and it, my first painting was terrible. It was disproportionate. I was trying to paint a chair the way Van Gogh would. And it wasn't Van Gogh. It was Van Gogh. It was just awful. It was so terrible. And the teacher said, you might want to think of another major. And the classmates said, why are you in this room? And I thought, I don't know why I'm in this room, because somebody told me I should be there. Flash forward four years, all of a sudden, at the end of my career as an undergrad, I'm one of the stars of the art department, because I just kept painting and kept painting. And if I can communicate any message to younger people, it's never give up, never give up. Just even if nobody is giving you positive reinforcement, believe in yourself so much that remember in the old days when we got to go to restaurants together, I would grab a paper napkin and just draw on it such that no matter where you are, you just cannot stop yourself because you feel this surge of creativity and this joy for doing it. That's all I got. Wow. <laughs> I love this, Gregory. I love your answer. And, and yeah, you're making people happy. Thank you. I hope so. I hope so. Thank you for watching. Now, please feel free to go to the art making video that is related to From Where We Spring by Shan Goshorn. Remember to keep in mind what you have learned here as you have fun making some interesting and wonderful art.